This is the Tojok Blu-ray player for TV. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get a user manual. They give you a fully featured remote control. HDMI cable, just standard HDMI to HDMI. Also a composite video cable in case you are hooking it up that way. And here is the player itself. Yes, it is small. It's supposed to be. It doesn't need to be any larger. This doesn't look like a very nice finish, and that's because it is a protective film. I'm going to leave that on here for the time being. Disc will load in the tray there that would come out. Just have a couple of buttons on the unit. Also a USB port, which we'll get back to later. And around back, you have your composite, coaxial, and HDMI port. Now this doesn't do very anything uh, very spectacular without a TV attached, so I'm going to get a TV and we'll hook it up via HDMI and test it out. So here we are, I have batteries in the remote, just takes two AAA batteries. We'll go ahead and power the unit on. It says hi. And here we are, just like that. No disc. And we're all ready to go. NODS, no disc. Press eject. The tray opens, and I'm going to put a Blu-ray in. Just happened to catch my eye. This is Gregory Peck's To Kill a Mockingbird. I can only play you a few seconds of it because it is obviously copyrighted material. But I'll go ahead and pop that in, and we'll see how it does. So we'll go ahead and load the disc in. There it is there. The disc spins up, and it's currently loading. It says play. And there we are. So I'll get into the movie a little bit, just so you get the idea. So here is the main screen. We'll go ahead and hit the play option there. And of course your warnings and everything else. Now I have the sound muted. This is a black and white movie, so that's why it's in black and white. As we saw earlier, everything was in color, but indeed it plays just fine. This is an actual DVD right here, which of course it can also play, as well as playing CDs. And this is of a um, product review that I had done. I'll keep the sound muted for now because it's not important really. It's a DVD video, and there it goes. It's playing right now. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this just so you can see how it fast forwards, but indeed it is playing a DVD without any problem. And now with no disc in there, or with a disc in there, up to you, I plugged in a USB flash drive there, and I'm going to press the media center button, and here is an MP3. And some more. You can see this is 2 of 21. Now, the speakers on this TV are garbage, but just to give you the idea, I mean, it can play MP3s without any problem at all. And we can go back, and I have a video here that I recorded in the past that I'll go ahead and I can play from the flash drive. You can see the little light shopping? blinking there. Or did we just pick you up? What is the cat deal? All by yourself, you just went in there. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, yes. All right, go back in your bag. Go back in the bag. That's a good boy. So this is just, even though it's my own video, I actually downloaded that from YouTube where it's uploaded. And just as the direct download file, I threw on this flash drive and the Tojok player can play it. Nothing else to do except select it from the list and it plays. This was recorded at 720 
resolution could be 1080 it'll play it no problem and all around it seems to work great loads discs nice and fast very convenient to have the USB port there so you can play your media that way you can also of course plug an external hard drive in there if you have a lot of movies already burned downloaded whatever you want to call it um, pirated <laughs> up to you that are uh, on storage media you can plug that in and play it directly through the Tojok DVD and Blu-ray player and also of course it'll play music CDs if that's you know more your speed it'll do that and if you have an older TV it'll also hook up via composite but of course nowadays everything is HDMI which is how I have it hooked up here and everything seems to work just great so once again this was the Tojok Blu-ray player for TV if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.